Hello, St. Catherine Catholic School families. This week we had our home and school meetings on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So if you are unable to attend the meetings, I am sending out this video message with the school information. When it comes to communication, I will mainly be communicating with you through emails and through parent alerts. It's very important that we have your correct email information and the correct phone number in fax so that you are receiving our information. Other ways that I will be communicating are through our monthly calendars. You should have the September calendar, but these calendars will be sent out to you each month with um, various dates on there. Also, our website, www.stkathyschool.org, also will have our information. And I will we'll be putting together a September newsletter to send out to families to share some of our school information. Also, Father Jose does communicate through uh, Flocno, and also in our church bulletin, you'll find some school news. I did discuss COVID-19 uh, with our families, and just to share with you, we are, as you know, taking temperatures each morning for our children that enter the school and that also get on our school buses. We are requiring masks for everyone. Uh, we have hand sanitizing stations throughout the school. We also give our students on the bus hand sanitizing. Uh, opportunities. We lower the bus windows to get the air circulating and we do allow the children to take mass breaks. Uh, sometimes during class uh, there is a isolated location in the classrooms where the students can have a break from their mask. They also take their masks off at PE and recess. Social distancing is working. We um, do have to remind the students to make sure they are social distancing so that might be the most challenging part. Um, we have an isolation room that is right behind me, and any student that's not feeling well or a faculty member, uh, we do have them come to the isolation room and we take their temperature. Um, and for children that are not feeling well, we do ask parents to come and pick them up if, if needed. Also, we are doing um, extra cleaning and sanitizing. We do have um, sprayers that we are using at, in the late afternoons to uh, make sure that we are sanitizing the classrooms. We are mopping the floors with bleach water and sanitizing the desks while the kids are at lunch. We also sanitize the playground in between uh, the groups going out for recess. On Fridays, we are having the children attend mass, but they will be attending mass every other Friday. Tomorrow, wow. grades one through five will attend mass, and then the following Friday, uh, grades pre-K and our middle school attend mass. Parents and grandparents are welcome to the mass. Do know that there is a separate section uh, for our parents and grandparents to keep everyone safe and the mass time is at approximately 2.05 p.m. If you are interested in having your child purchase lunch, we are doing uh, lunches through Havana Bakery and the lunches are individually packaged with um, the plastic silverware that's packaged and all children receive a bottle of water. On Fridays, we will start to have some cheese pizza, uh, which is, I believe, in September, and that also is being done by Havana Bakery. It is a small personal cheese pizza that comes with a bottle of water. You can um, pay for the lunches through fax, and if you need assistance with that, please call Mrs. Martha Velasquez at the school number. Just a little bit about academics, technology, and testing. This year we are fortunate to have new curriculum for our science, our literature, our reading, Spanish, and we have a special social emotional uh, learning curriculum that we will uh, begin at the end of September. So we're excited about this new curriculum, but it does take uh, some ex extra learning on the teacher's part as well. So we're, we're working with all of that. Uh, this is a reminder that all of our children have the Mayan reading program on their iPads. So if they could take a break from video games and do some Mayan reading at home, uh, that would be great for them. So they are given reading levels according to their Lexile score and it will improve their reading as they go along. 
Also this year, each student received an iPad to take home. Again, that was basically for COVID-19 reasons. We want students to have their own iPad so that they're not using different iPads. And we also want the teachers to collect less papers. So we are working with our students um, and showing them how to upload their assignments to the iPad and to the LMS. The LMS is our learning management system and when your child gets to high school and college, they will be using learning management systems. So it's important that they learn how to do that here at St. Catherine and that they do understand that they are responsible for their schoolwork. It is their responsibility to log onto their LMS if they are out sick or um, if they need to see what their classwork is, their homework is, or if the teacher has posted resources. So I know parents that the LMS can be a little frustrating for you, but um, it is the teacher's online classroom. And if you as a parent have a question about the LMS, please contact the school and we will um, help you with the steps to um, understanding the LMS. Parents, as you know, fax is used for your parent portal. This is where you can see your child's grades, attendance, behavior. You can purchase the lunches as mentioned, and there is also some class information. Testing began this week. We instituted the um, Renaissance uh, Star 360 test. Typically, this is done in the fall and the spring. But because of COVID-19, we needed to have a better idea of where our students were academically and if there are areas that need extra support. So every student from pre-K all the way up to eighth grade will have completed this assessment uh, by the middle of next week. We will get those results back and share those with you. And we will be working with the students who need um, some extra support in areas of math and reading. Grading, as you know, uh, grades pre-K through second use letter grades and grades three through eight use numerical grades. Our progress reports will be available for parents on September 14th through fax. Our report cards and our parent conferences are coming up in October. The first quarter ends on Friday, October 9th, and we will have report cards and conferences on Thursday, October 15th. October 15th will be a half day, it'll be a new dismissal, so that teachers can schedule their uh, parent conferences. For this first quarter, conferences will have to be held over the phone or by Zoom. You will receive more information from your child's teacher when it gets closer to signing up for the conferences. So this week we did have our first fire drill in our pre-K on Wednesday and in our uh, grades one through eight on Tuesday. The students and teachers did an excellent job. We will do fire drills or some sort of drill on a monthly basis. When we do practice a code red drill, that is a lockdown, parents will be notified ahead of time as the students and teachers are also notified ahead of time. This is a reminder that on the first Friday of every month, we do have a noon dismissal. The afternoons are used for professional learning for our teachers and uh, teacher faculty meetings. Our September calendar, as I said, is available. This was sent electronically to you and it is posted on our website. It has information on the back of the calendar as well as some important dates um, on the front of the calendar. So for the month of September, on September 9th, we are going to be honoring our grandparents. This is Grandparents Day, and unfortunately, we can't do what we typically would do uh, and invite our grandparents to uh, campus. So each teacher has been asked to um, honor the grandparents in some other way. We will have our first PTO meeting on September 10th. This will be a Zoom PTO at 7 o'clock p.m. If you are interested in being a part of our parent teacher organization, please email me and let me know that you would like to be a part of this team. I do need your help as I would love to have input from you 
the parents as to what we can do here at St. Catharines to not only fundraise, but to improve the school. The week of September 20th is our Family Literacy Week and we have fun activities planned for every day. You will receive more information from Ms. Percival, our ELA middle school teacher, regarding that week. But please mark down Monday, September 21st. This is our first school fundraiser. So for $5, your child can dress down in jeans and a bright shirt, a bright neon shirt that is going to be um, related to our Literacy Week. So please save the date for the 21st and we will send a link uh, where you can pay the $5 uh, as our first school fundraiser. The parent uh, volunteer hours will be waived this year uh, because we know due to COVID-19 you are unable to come to campus uh, to help out with different uh, PTO fundraising things, so right now your, your parent hours will be waived, uh, but I will need your support in other areas, so thank you for that. My contact information is uh, Higgins at stcathyschool.org, that is my email, and the phone number is 863-385-7300, extension 221. I will attach the PowerPoint presentation to this email along with the video. And again, I thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart for sending your children to St. Catherine's Catholic School and entrusting them to our care. And we will do everything in our power to always keep them safe and give them the best education possible. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns. God bless.